Hey, what's going on guys? Ben aka Sauce here and today I am bringing you another video and as you can see from the title and the thumbnail of the video, I'm bringing you my 2.0 mock draft and if you are new around here, I upload NFL and Madden content all the time so make sure you subscribe if you're new and like this video if you enjoy but anyways, as you can see, I'm doing a mock draft. This is my second one, hence why it's titled 2.0 mock draft but anyways, Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't think I need to say anything else. So here we go. First overall pick, of course, Trevor Lawrence. I don't really need to say anything. You know, articles will have paragraphs and paragraphs of why they think the Jaguars are going to go ahead and get Trevor Lawrence. But it's obvious they're getting Trevor Lawrence. But anyways, got the second overall pick. This one is pretty obvious as well. Zach Wilson going number two overall to the Jets. Of course, they traded Sam Darnold, so there's no possibility of them going non-QB. They're definitely going Zach Wilson. Now, third overall pick, things get interesting already. Do they go Mac Jones? Do they go Trey Lance? Do they go Justin Fields? I think they're going to go ahead and get Mac Jones because... You know, Kyle Shanahan, he used to be the offensive coordinator for the Atlanta Falcons. And back in 2016, Matt Ryan won MVP, and they made it to the Super Bowl, where, of course, they choked the 28-3 lead. But Mac Jones is very much compared to Matt Ryan, and I feel like Kyle Shanahan, if he had another Matt Ryan-esque player, he'll be able to make him, you know, MVP candidate well that's at least what he hopes and I know their GM John Lynch wants a mobile QB like Justin Fields but I feel like in the end the head coach will get the final say in this so they're gonna go ahead and get Mac Jones here and obviously they're gonna go QB because you don't trade all the way up to the third overall pick to get a non QB so now we have my Atlanta Falcons with the fourth overall pick and this could be a very possible trade back situation for us let a team like the Broncos or even the Patriots jump up to the fourth pick to get their QB of the future but I feel like we're gonna stay here with the fourth pick and get Trey Lance and you might be like why trade Lance over like Justin Fields here well I'll pick Trey Lance because he's only 20 years old and Matt Ryan's still gonna be our starter for like one to two more seasons so him sitting down behind him learning all that he can of course he came from North Dakota State so he's not starter material day one so he's gonna have some learning to do and Matt Ryan will be able to help him with that so next we have the fifth pick and the Bengals are definitely going with Pente Sewell because of course they could go wide receiver like Jamar Chase or Devontae Smith but I feel like they're just going to go Pente Sewell because they need offensive help, offensive lineman help, because Joe Burrow just got sacked and sacked and sacked last season, and you can't have your franchise QB, your first overall pick, just getting tormented like that. So they're definitely going with the best offensive lineman prospect since Orlando Pace. Boom. And next we have the sixth overall pick, of course. They had the third pick, the Dolphins. Then they traded back to 12. Then they traded back up to 6. And this projected they're going to get uh, Jamar Chase here with their third pick. And now they're going to be able to get them with their sixth pick, which is very smart by them. Of course, they're going to get Jamar Chase, the best wide receiver in this draft class here. Go ahead and be able to get him. And now we have the number 7 pick, the Detroit Lions. This is a weird pick because they could go Justin Fields right here. But they do have Jared Goff, so how much do you trust Jared Goff? You know, that's going to be a big question. Kyle Pitts, well, you already have TJ Hawkinson, so you don't really need that. So they did lose Marvin Jones Jr. and Kenny Galladay, so I feel like they're probably going to go ahead and go with a wide receiver. But this could be a very possible trade down position here, but I'll go ahead and give them... Do I give them Jalen Waddle? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and give them Devontae Smith right here with the number 7 pick. And now we have the Panthers with number 8. I feel like they're going to go ahead and get Kyle Pitts. They traded a second round pick and like a fourth and a sixth to get 
Sam Darnold, so I don't think they're going to go Justin Fields because then, you know, getting Sam Darnold won't really, you know, it'll be all for nothing. So I feel like they're going to go ahead and get Kyle Pitts here. He is the best tight end prospect, you know, that we have pretty much ever seen. You know, um, only a few tight ends have ever gone top 10 in Super Bowl era. So he will most likely be the third one ever to do that. Now, number nine, the Broncos. It's being rumored that they might trade up to get Drew Locke's replacement because Drew Locke, you know, what is what is he doing? He is not what they want in their franchise QB. But, you know, the third ranked prospect in this website's, you know, thing is Justin Fields, and he's right there, and they're going to be able to snatch him right there without trading up i know bronco fans the organization will all be cheering up and down you know so happy so next we have the cowboys and of course they got dan quinn as their defensive coordinator they got keanu neal they got demonte casey why don't you add to that secondary and get patrick certain because you lock down corner is a need you know for everyone in the nfl you can never have enough cornerbacks and you can never have enough good cornerbacks and the best cornerback in this draft class out of Alabama Patrick Sertain he's gonna come in here and of course give them lockdown cornerback that they need to be able to you know not run up not let the other team run up the scoreboard let Dak and all their offensive weapons be able to put up a bunch of touchdowns you know Zeke all them so boom there we go now the 11th pick. This one's pretty simple. Jalen Waddle here. It's been rumored all offseason that Jalen Waddle is going to be go ahead, going ahead and going to the Giants. Get Danny Dime a weapon that he can use to hopefully get his turn his career around. Of course, they got Kenny Galladay. Why don't you put a wide receiver on the opposite side? Of course, you got Saquon coming back. I got Saquon with like my second round pick in fantasy last season as you can probably expect I was not happy when he went down with the injury of course not only because of fantasy also because you know hurts to see one of the best running backs in the league go down you know only like his second third season ever you know one of the best already but anyways number 12 we have the Eagles who used to be at the number six spot they traded back and they're probably most likely going to go ahead and go for a another wide receiver here and i feel like they're going to go ahead and get the man rashad bateman because of course a uh, wide receiver has been a struggle for them for such a long time ever since Deshaun jackson left for the first time that's when their wide receiver woes have really you know, become a pair. Of course, they had Alshon Jeffrey, who pretty good. Of course, they have Deshaun Jackson back, but he's not, you know, he's not the Deshaun Jackson they had in the first place. But next, we have the Chargers, who had the rookie of the year last year. What are they going to do this time? They're going to get him some project protection. They're going to get Rashawn Slater here, just like the Bengals, who got a quarterback in the first round last season. They're getting protection him this year with Rashad Slater the second best offensive tackle in the draft and now we have the 14th pick with the Minnesota Vikings I feel like they're gonna go ahead and get a cornerback they had Xavier Rhodes top three cornerback a couple of years ago and now they're gonna try to go ahead and get one again with JC Horn with the 14th pick and now we have the Patriots, and this is, of course, if the Patriots stayed here, I wouldn't be surprised if they jumped up to try to get their QB of the future. I feel like this is where Micah Parsons is going to be picked. In my first mock draft, if you haven't checked out, you probably should just see how much has changed. That was back in January, but I had Micah Parsons going to the Falcons at number four. And obviously, months later, that looks like a dumb decision, but, you know, Micah Parsons was really rated that high back then and now a couple months later I have him being picked at number 15 and now we have the Cardinals Cardinals go ahead and get Christian Darasol get their former first overall pick some protection give him time to throw to D-hop 
of course. So I'm going to go ahead and give them Christian Darasol. You can never have too much protection for your quarterback, especially when your quarterback is going to be using his legs for so many years to come. And to make sure he stays healthy will impact his career a lot. And next, we have the Raiders with the number 17 pick. I feel like the Raiders can go ahead and get a cornerback. Of course, they did get a cornerback last season with one of their many first-round picks, but I feel like they're going to go ahead and get another one because, like I've been saying, you can't get enough cornerbacks on your team. And so, you know, last season they didn't get the best corner available. They just got the best corner that fit their system. I feel like Greg Newsom fits their scheme, fits their defense very well, and boom there we go going ahead to the Dolphins second first round pick of this draft I feel like the first running back of this draft is going to be taken who's it going to be and I think it's going to be Najee Harris you know after his playoff run last season with Alabama he just cemented himself as the RB1 for this draft class of course going against Notre Dame and going against Ohio State and the championship next we have the football team and the football team obviously they made the playoffs last year it wasn't really a tight you know bunch of powerhouses dueling it out it was a bunch of bad teams trying to pick and of course they went against the eventual Super Bowl champs in the first round you know Tom Brady Buccaneers but anyways I feel like they're gonna go ahead and get some protection for either Taylor Heineke or whoever ends up being their first QB, their, you know, their QB1. So I feel like they're going to go with Trevin Jenkins out of Oklahoma State, probably the third best offensive tackle in the draft up to this point. And next, we have the Bears. And aside from Allen Robinson, you know, they don't really have any great wide receivers. And they're going to go ahead and address this, you know, get the Red Rifle Andy Dalton <laughs> some weapons, get them Kadarius Tooney. Hopefully I'm saying all these names right. If I'm not, please don't flame me. You know, I like to read mock drafts. I don't really listen to them, so I don't really hear, hear these names. I just know them. You know, I can see this guy and be like, oh, yeah, him. But I can't really hear it and be like, or read it and be like, oh, it's pronounced like this. But anyways... 22nd pick we have the Colts and if remember a couple years back top 10 pick the Colts picked Malik Hooker and that didn't really work out in favor for them so I feel like they're gonna try again get a safety again but this time they're gonna get Trevin I'm not even gonna try the last name Mo Hurig the out of TCU safety I feel like he can He's very versatile. He can run corner if you need him to. Of course, his position safety. He can run safety. That'll help their defense. Of course, you got Darius Leonard. They made a playoff push last season, and now they have Carson Wentz under center instead of the Phillip Rivers guy, if you know who that is. And next, we have the 22nd pick, the Tennessee Titans, and they definitely need a running back. Just kidding. They don't need a running back. They need, you know, they could address many positions, but the position they need more than anything is definitely, definitely defensive line because they got Jadavion Clowney out of free agency last season. Didn't really do anything. Signed Vic Beasley. Didn't really do anything. They brought in Bud Dupree, but I don't think that's where their defensive help, defensive line help is going to end this offseason. They go ahead and pick up Jalen Phillips out of Miami, the first edge guy taken. And next, we have the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Again, of course, they had the second pick. Now they have the 23rd pick, and they're going to go ahead and get Zach Wilson, a wide receiver. And I feel like, do they go Rondell or do they go Elijah? I have them going Rondell more because, you know, he's... Think of think of Debo Samuel when you think of him. Of course, speed, ability to carry the ball, do all that stuff. But anyways, 
Next, we have the Steelers. They did lose Marquise Pouncey to retirement. And so I feel like they're going to go ahead and get the best center available. The only center or the, the first center that will be taken, Landon Dickerson, here with the 24th pick. He is the 32nd rank prospect in this draft according to the website. And so now we have the 25th pick for the Jaguars' second first rounder of the season. And I feel like they're going to go ahead and get some edge. Of course, over the years they've had players like Miles Jack, Jalen Ramsey, and Yannick Ngakwe. And two of those players aren't on the team. Miles Jack hasn't really been as good as he has been in past seasons. But he is very young. He came to the league at like 20, so... He still has a bunch of years left. But anyways, I feel like they're going to get some edge to help out their team. Of course, they got a cornerback last season to replace Jalen Ramsey. So I feel like they're going to get Jason Owen. I hope that's how you say it. Jason Owen out of Penn State. And next, we have the Browns. And I feel like the Browns, you know, probably should address defense because... Their offense, they still have Baker and OBJ, Jarvis Landry, and their two-headed monster at running back. And I feel like they're probably going to go ahead and get a linebacker. They're going to go ahead and pick up Jeremiah owusu Camaro. I think that's how you say it, but of course they need some linebacker help, and he'll definitely come in. He's one of the best defensive prospects in this draft. I really like him. And so now we have the Ravens. I feel like the Ravens should probably go ahead and get wide receiver. Of course, they got Hollywood Brown recently, but, you know, Sammy Watkins, Hollywood Brown isn't your ideal wide receiver core. They went into the offseason trying to pick one up, and they pretty much failed really bad. They gave Juju more money than he asked for. He gave T.Y. Hill more money than he got from you know their original team but they both of them decided not to go to the Ravens so now Terrence Marshall is not really gonna have a choice because he's going to get drafted to play with Lamar and that's not really a bad thing Lamar is very good he can use his legs he can use his arm but next we have the Saints and I feel like they're going to go ahead and probably get a player on defense you know the they're at a crossroads right now Drew Brees retired. Who's their quarterback? Is it going to be Taysom Hill? Is it going to be Crab Legs? You know, who knows? Is it going to be Famous Jameis? But anyways, I feel like they're going to go Zayvon Collins here. He's really going to help them out, of course. They have Marcus Davenport. They have Cam Johnson. But they did lose Trey Henderson. Or, yeah, Hendrickson. I think that's how you, his last name is and free agency but yeah they're probably gonna go ahead and get this linebacker here they'll help out their defense he can come in impact from day one if they will go ahead and probably probably can go ahead and try to compete still even though Drew Brees retired and next we have the Packers and you would think they'd go wide receiver because you know everything last season has been like oh Rodgers so mad all he has is Devontae Adams they drafted QB round one why would you do that he won MVP but I feel like they're gonna go back to defense to go ahead and get linebacker to help them out because you know they did lose Blake Martinez who I think he was top three in tackles one year and of course losing somebody like that will be very you know pretty harmful for your defense and so I feel like oops I feel like they're gonna go oop. Oop. I feel like they're gonna go Jamin Davis out of Kentucky the linebacker like I said help out their defense give them some help on the other side of the ball and of course let Aaron Rodgers Devontae Adams Aaron Jones go off on that side now we have the last three picks, starting off with the Bills. I feel like they're probably going to go ahead and get Caleb Farley here, give a cornerback from the opposite side of Tredavious White, 
who's of course one of the best wide receivers in the league. I'd probably say easily top three. I don't know if right now I could name anybody better than him. Possibly Jalen Ramsey, but I feel like they're gonna go ahead get him. Probably the second, maybe third best cornerback in this draft class, Caleb Farley, goes to pick number 30, the Buffalo Bills. And now we have the team that lost in the Super Bowl, the Kansas City Chiefs. And I feel like they're definitely going to have to go ahead and get offensive line because did you watch the Super Bowl? Do you see what Patrick Mahomes had to deal with? Of course, they cut their all-pro, and they also cut Eric Fisher. So they're probably going to go ahead and get offensive tackle who doesn't you know, cost as much as they did on a rookie contract. They're going to go ahead and get Samuel Cosme. Hopefully that's how you say it, out of Texas. And now we have the last pick, the Super Bowl champs. They brought pretty much everybody back. Who do they need? You know, they already have Tom Brady. Let's go ahead and for some fun, give them a QB of the future. Davis Mills out of Stanford, sit behind Tom Brady for a couple years. And when Tom Brady retires, he'll go ahead and see what he can do. So that will conclude my 2.0 2.0 mock draft please make sure you like the video if you enjoyed of course if you made it to this part then you must have enjoyed at least something you know you must have been entertained by something somehow so make sure you go ahead and like this video people have the tendency to just dislike the video and leave if they don't agree with something but they never comment in the section the comment section below what they don't agree with so if you agree, if you disagree with something, make sure you go ahead and use the comment section below. I'll be replying to you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, goodbye.